Hey guys, it's Ava, and today we are at the annual Diocesan Youth Conference. For those who don't know, DYC is basically this huge gathering of teens from grades 8 through 12, all coming together to connect with one another and encounter Jesus together. It sounds like it's going to be a fun day, and I can't wait to take you all with me. The live music really brings a sense of community because everyone loves music. And it's just a really fun experience that helps me like show my faith and share it with others. How would you describe DYC in one word? Hopeful. Loving. I'd say connection. You connect with a lot of people and you especially connect with God. Full of energy. So energy is that word. So we're about halfway done with the day here, and so far we've listened to beautiful live music and empowering speech by Steve Ambrosano, as well as a bunch of fun activities like creating Happy Hope bags for the Hope Foundation and having a breakout session where we really talked about how to use the cell phone for good. We're just about to get started back up here in the gym, and I hope to see you all soon. I'm just gonna sing it for you one time. Oh, the overwhelming never-ending reckless love of God oh it chases me down fights till I'm found leaves the 99 I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it still you give yourself away oh the overwhelming never-ending reckless love of God what do you hope that the kids from here take away from this experience? You know, I think we come here, all of us knowing that we're connected to our friends, to our family, but to me the hope is that we realize all of that stems from our connection with God, a God who made us in His image and who desires to be in friendship with us so that our connectedness with God is an important part of who we are every day, not just on Sundays, but every day. Thank you so much. I think he was a pretty cool speaker. I mean, I liked when he talked about like God and how he works like miracles, not just big, but like also small too. I think he was re really re like wise and he said a lot of like sentimental things that made me feel good inside. He was really cool. Something like he, when he talked about the Columbine event, it was like really sad. God wants to be in friendship with us. When we come to this session and we begin a day about being connected, if I could just use every ounce of energy I have to say to you, having lived through some life and death things that I never thought I would have to go through, calls questions in your mind. You will never regret giving God a shot in your life. God is worth the risk. You will never regret allowing yourself to be connected to God. You will never regret letting God be a part of your life. I won't have to prove that to you. If you give God that space in your heart, you will know that it's true. What was your favorite part of the day? Uh, when we made the packets for children in need. I like the workshop, because like, I don't know, it's just like nice to help out people. The Bags of Hope are basically just a bag of activities for kids who are just bored and overwhelmed in the hospital beds and they just need something to like help them like be happy and stuff like that. That's very nice. And what were you doing today? What were you going to talk to them about? I was explaining my experiences in the hospital, like how I would feel if I got one of the bags and um, helping out with just making the bags. What was your favorite part of the day so far? Uh, so far, to be honest, it was at uh, that first First time in the, um, the really big room, a uh, lot of fun music, um, the one speaker was really funny. The guy singing, it was pretty cool. It's very awesome. Uh, I like music, you know. What was your favorite part of the day? Probably adoration. It, everybody really got brought together and it was very peaceful. Anything that you enjoy that you would like to share about today? Yeah, like meeting new people, um, new groups, um, just 
Yeah, meeting new people, making new friends. So far, just the first activity that we did. We got together with groups and we got to meet a bunch of people from different parishes. And it was just so cool learning about them. Really, I think everybody in May felt connected to each other, no matter what their background, no matter what their uh, life experience, no matter in the sense of what parish they were from, leaving here, they will never forget this uh, moment, this time. Because you are connected in all these ways, I say to you tonight as your bishop, go forth and be salt for the earth. Go forth and be the light of the world so that this world may see your goodness and because of your goodness and glorify God your heavenly father the God in whose image and likeness you were made amen Hi, Bishop O'Connell. I wanted to know how you thought today's conference went. Oh, it was beautiful. We had the largest number in many, many years coming out of COVID. This was COVID. This was just such an encouraging thing. The spirit was great. The kids are great. We love them all. DYC 2023 was amazing. We had over 750 people here. Uh, the theme was connected, and the whole day really felt like a journey of getting closer to each other uh, and as a way of helping us get closer to God. It was a powerful day awesome energy, and uh, just filled with joy and fun. So I thought it was a really awesome experience. I believe I came a couple years ago before COVID. It has evolved and grown a lot. I loved all the messages that they had to share, and yeah, it was very, very warming, heartwarming. What did you think about today? I loved it. It was amazing, and it was so fun. I remember I came here like three years ago, and I loved it, and it was just a great experience. I definitely enjoyed it, and I think I'll probably be back next year. I love to hear it. Thank you. We are just wrapping things up here at the Diocesan Youth Conference, and since the last time I spoke with you, we spent time in Eucharistic adoration, we were given the opportunity to go to confession, and we celebrated Mass with Bishop O'Connell. I hope you enjoyed following me around today, and I hope to see you all here next year.